And for the third straight year, a game between Utah and Oregon State at Gilt Coliseum comes down to the last possession. This time it's Utah that wins it, 66-64. Rich Burke along with Casey Jacobson and Justin Bibbins, the 5'8 point guard, huge in the first half with four three-pointers. Yeah, and I realize that, you know, he's just one year in a Utah uniform, but this young man knows how to play the game of basketball, and he's been torching Division I teams for four years. He had 18 points tonight. You mentioned 12 of those coming in the first half. He also had six assists to only one turnover. He completely controlled this game. Now, Stevie Thompson Jr., the last two times that these teams have met, he had hit game winners. He had had 30 points. Tonight, just 13 points, but he did have some bright moments in this game. He also had four assists. This is an Oregon State team that is without a point guard. They're searching for, for more answers. Utah just came ready to play, especially right here at the end of the game. They had, Oregon State had a couple of opportunities to score a controversial jump ball, and then this is the call that you don't really see happen very often. A traveling violation called on freshman Ethan Thompson. On an inbound he, pass. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's so rare. And then here's the last second heat. I don't think it would have counted even if it went. A huge win. Now Utah walks away from the Oregon schools with a sweep, Rich. And Utah 11 of 23 from three. They had 10 of those three-pointers in the first half. They are 2-0 in Pac-12 play, and Oregon State is 1-1. One and, one. and Utah will host the Arizona schools next week, while Oregon State will be at home against Oregon on Friday. That's it from Corvallis. Keep it tuned to Pac-12.com all season long.